to be honest, I think, you know, the like whinging about how X or Y or Z hasn't been invited to speak at X or Y or Z university would be the equivalent of like me having a strop on Twitter every year when I'm not invited to be the keynote speaker at Tory party conference. It's like, you don't deserve to be given a platform just because that you think you are, you know, the most important and relevant person that has the right to speak on this particular subject. Um, as Larissa was just saying, you know, very eloquently and much more eloquently than I could, this is undoubtedly, um, you know, a, a very niche issue that affects a small number of very influential people who are basically aggrieved at the idea that there are, there exist some people on the planet, um, you know, it, like, yeah, a group of people who maybe don't actually want to sit and listen to them talk for an hour, which is to them generally old white men just you know something that must be explained by some sort of deep state conspiracy rather than the fact that they're just utterly boring and irrelevant um so there's that but i think it serves to kind of um you know there's a reason that this has been manufactured um and i think you know it's kind of a, a broader part of this kind of culture war um narrative that's deliberately placed at the front and center of our public debate by a media that's desperate not to talk about anything of, ref of, of relevance to people's real lives. So if we're, you know, if I'm on the Today programme or GMB every morning talking about whether or not people are allowed to, um, you know, whether or not we have a crisis of free speech because like, I don't know, um, Douglas Murray was uninvited to a Cambridge debate then we're not talking about climate breakdown. We're not talking about how we've had a decade of wage stagnation. We're not talking about how inequality has gone through the roof. We're not talking about the government thrown, has thrown huge amounts of money at big business during this pandemic and left others to kind of starve and without a roof over their heads. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's manufactured outrage, but it's outrage that is manufactured by people who have an interest in making sure that we really don't talk about anything else. And for me, that's the real crisis of free speech in this country.